Hello, hello. Hello. Hello, hello, guys. Vanessa, Leah, Diana, Caesar, Haiti, Eduardo, Herbert. Hello. Hello. Okay, hello. Quiero ver cara, eh, new names or new faces porque no les veo a todos, ¿verdad? Pero creo que Mr. Herbert Cortez, no sé si estuvo ayer. Nice to meet you. Hello. Hello, hello. Adriana, yes. Mr. Ponce, yes. Getting out the shower, Mr. Ponce. Yes. Yes, right? Okay. Good. Right. Okay. Adriana, very good. Mr. Cuevas, very good. Okay. Good. All righty. Who's missing? Mike? I don't see Mike. Hello? Mike, are you here, Mike? Hello, hello? Okay, perfect, guys. So, how's everybody doing? How was your day? Good. So-so? Tomorrow's Friday, right? Almost Friday. Yay! Almost. So, just wait, okay? Very good. <laughs> Eh, creo que somos menos que ayer, pero igual creo que los unos me escribieron que se iban a incorporar en un minuto, en un tiempito, ¿verdad? All right, guys. Mm -hmm. Just give me a minute. Voy a, voy a poner el cargador aquí porque lo he dejado afuera, ¿ok? Give me one minute. Deme un minuto. Ok. No, no me acuerdo. No, no me acuerdo, la verdad. No. Perfect. Okay, guys, ya comenté. Okay, good. So let's see. Okay, tenían recibieron las preguntas que mandé. Eh, pero vamos a en una captura de imagen de who that. No sé si las tienen por ahí. ¿Quién se está incorporando de nuevo? Very good. Yes, I have the picture. Okay, can you can we share them? Se las puedo vamos a compartir. Bueno, aquí las se las mandé al grupo de WhatsApp para compartir, ¿verdad? Eh, good. So, ¿por qué? Porque se tiene que ver con el tema de ahora. So, ¿quién dijo? The, we can check your group. Pueden revisar su grupo para las preguntas. Okay. Very good. Y lo, lo vamos a dis, uh, we're going to discuss it and then you're going to get in groups. Question. Okay, we're good. See, sir, a question number, first question. I'm not in the group. <laughs> okay. I don't know the, the questions. Okay, we're going to share them in a minute. I can read, teacher. Okay, very good. Can you read the first one? Do you have a friend who lives in another city? Very good. Talk about him, her. Good. Do you have a friend? who lives in another city. Muy bien, very good, okay. Yes, I have a friend who lives in San Miguel, for example, okay. His name is Rafael, okay. Good, okay. Jose, do you have the next question? Do you have the questions? Welcome. Yes, I have. Okay. What is the next uh, one? The next one is, do you usually buy things that you don't really need? Give an example. Okay. Very good. Do you usually buy things that? Vamos a, we're, we're actually going into the topic okay, using relative pronouns, which we're going to see today, which are who, that, which. Okay. Welcome, Mr. Escobar. Mr. Not, but not Pablo, no, Christopher Escobar. Very good. Mr. Franco, Susana, and Mr. Herbert. I, noticed, I haven't listened to Mr. Herbert, but I see his picture. Mr. Herbert Cortez, are you there? Yes, sir. I'm Perfect. Here. Okay, good. Just want to make sure. Okay. Excellent. Eduardo and Vanessa. Very good. In Haiti. Okay, as well. Because if I don't see your, your faces, I just want to make sure everybody's there. Okay. All right. Next question. Okay. Next question. Uh, very good. Uh, Mr. Franco, do you have the next question?
The next question in the in the pictures that in the image that I sent. Is not there, Mr. Franco? Are you there? Question number three. Who can read it? Can me ayuda? Who helps me? I can help you. Me. Okay. Oh, okay. All right. And number number third. Can you yeah. think of something that you love to buy? Will love you like to buy it? Okay. Why would you like to buy why, it? Why? Why would you like to buy? It? Okay. Something that you would love to buy. Something that I would love to buy is, for example, a better car, okay, a bigger house. Okay. All right. Good. Eduardo, next question. Question number four. I am not a nickel up teacher. I'm sorry? Oh, you're I not? Am not in group. Okay, we're gonna send them again. I'm gonna send them here, yeah. okay? Very good, I'm gonna send I, them I, don't have the, uh, I don't have the link of the group. Okay, Does any, can any can somebody share the link? I'm gonna see, or I'm gonna share it with, with you in a, in a minute, okay? I'm gonna share it, okay? Next sure, question. I, I can send the link in here on the chat, on okay. the Zoom chat. So. Please, please do that, okay? Welcome, Mike. Hi, JB. All right, what's going on? All right, cool. Question: We're going over the questions, Mike. Because uh, right now, after this, uh, I'm, I'm going to. Sorry, I'm, teacher. I, I shared the link in the in this chat on perfect. this group. Thank you. Yes, I oh. see it. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Good. Very good. Next question. Uh, question number four, right? Okay. Uh, we're going over the questions that I sent to the group in the in, in the what's up for discussion. Then we're going to get in pairs and we're going to give you four minutes to discuss. Okay. All right. Uh, Miss Leah, did you share one? Can you read question number number four, please? I don't have questions. Okay. All right. I'm going to send them to the group here, guys. I have them in, in, in image for the ones that don't. Okay. All right, uh, somebody else who, who has the questions. Very good. Who can who can share with me? Me? Okay, please. The okay. uh, question number four, talk about a time when you were in a difficult situation. What did you do? Very good. Talk about a time that you were in a different situation. What did you do? Okay, good one. All right. A difficult time was that I, using the relative pronouns, that which, okay. Mike, did you get the questions? Yeah. All right. Question number six. Can you read it, please? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. Uh, would you like to visit a country where people eat and use of food? Okay. Such a country. Okay. Very good. Where? Okay. Of course, you don't want to say China, right? Because China. What? <laughs> what? What is China yeah. famous? What is China famous for? What kind of unusual yeah. food do Chinese people like to eat? <laughs> This day, I don't want to be there. <laughs> Definitely. Definitely, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I sent the questions, guys, because it's an image to the to the WhatsApp group. If you can't open it because it, 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 if you don't have the file, let me know. I will send it to you directly to your number. Okay. okay. Very good. Okay. Let's see. Heidi, welcome, Heidi. Question number seven, please. Do you have? Are you in the group, Heidi? Me, teacher. Yes, good. Okay. Okay. Seven. Yes. How? How do you feel about people who talk too much? Who talk too much. What would you call somebody who likes to blah, blah, blah? Gossiper, chambroso. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Talkative, yeah. no, talkative or open. <laughs> oh, no, no, not necessarily it's, it's always bad. It could be good. Yeah. Somebody who likes to talk a lot is somebody who is open. Yes? A sociable person. Very good. They like to express their feelings. They like, okay? Communicative. Communicative. That's right. Very good. Very communicative. Very good. Okay? Don't we'll talk too much. We all know somebody like that. Yeah. Que todos conocemos a alguien así. Yeah. Yes, right? Yes. yes. We all know somebody like that. Very good. Many okay. people. Yes, okay. Vanessa, are you in the group? Can you read question number eight? Did you buy furniture which is in you? Why or why not? Okay. Do you buy furniture which is in you? What furniture? You know, yeah. so, I mean, you know, in the living room furniture, 
and wear a, a rocking chair, which is a new, okay? Of table. course. Table, yes, okay. okay. But okay. right now, yes, I do. I used to, I'll be honest, don't, don't, don't laugh at me, no bullying. I used <laughs> to go before to buy sometimes good furniture too, without the commercial, BG, okay? But yeah, that is Hennessy's, very good. <laughs> yes. where, you, where the money is, is good, okay? Miss Aliva, oh, question. IR. Yes, they close now. <laughs> All right. Question number nine, Miss Aldivar. Do you think that bilingual dictionaries are useful? Okay. Explain. Very good. Do you think that bilingual dictionaries, okay, are useful? Remember, many many years ago, everybody used to have a bilingual dictionary, okay, which is good. It's it's perfect. It's fine. Give your opinion, okay. Do you look up every single word or no? Because sometimes you lose so much time and you try to deduce what somebody says or says by inferring, which is a good tactic, but that's your personal opinion. Okay, very good. Okay, and Mr. Cortez, are you in the group uh, by any chance? Can you read the last question if so? Question number 10, please. Let me check. Um, can you think of three reasons why people no way no nowadays, nowadays are so busy. Very good. Nowadays. Very good. Nowadays, yes. So busy, right? Uh-huh. Why do you think people nowadays are so so busy? Okay. Very good. Why do you think that? All right. It's different for different 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 reasons, right? Okay. Good. And I have two more, there's no more questions. Uh, there's a second part to this, but I only sent you the first part, okay? So the, the idea of this, guys, is to practice the relative pronouns, which is our topic, which are who, that, which, what else? When. When. When, uh-huh. When. When. Where. Where. Okay. And where that's right okay good one okay so this is what i'm going to do i'm going to put you we're a small group today tonight i think yesterday we had more okay and i'm going to give you five minutes for you to discuss the questions and i'm going to be coming around to the different groups okay listening to you if you have questions with vocabulary or anything that you have a question on okay and no let's make it in groups of three okay so it's going to be randomly okay so i'm going to give you Approximately three, four minutes. Well, it's a lot of questions, but you can just, one can answer one question, the next one can answer the other one. So we all have time, okay? Very good. Okay, so let's go. I'm gonna put you in, in trios, okay? Ready? All right, let's go. The question that you don't have. I don't know this. The question. There are the questions. Hello, teacher. Hello. You don't have the questions. Can you? Yes, teacher. I don't have the question. What is the question? There are the questions. I sent them in the chat. If not, can we send them to your group? Mike, can you send it to to Miss Campos via WhatsApp on the group? Are you in the group? Maybe I am not in the chat. The picture. Yes. Maybe for this exercise. I can share my my monitor. No. Okay. I'll share screen. Okay. Can you see? There you go. Okay. Good. We have the question ten question. That's right. Mm hmm just make it a little bigger. That's fine. Can you see this? Can you see the other first question? Do you have a friend who lives in another city? Talk about him or her. Mm -hmm. All right. So in this case, uh, 
Mike, Julio, or Nia, do you have a friend who lives in another city? Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, I have a, some female friends in San Miguel. Okay. What? And even I visited in, in one time, and I yeah, we were sharing some pupusas in that place. Okay. And, and they eat a little bit different, the pupusas. Yeah. The, the, the vehicles uh, eat different. Yeah. And with black sauce. <laughs> with black yeah, sauce black and sauce. ketchup, right. And of yes, course, I, you know. I, I, I'm from... I'm from San Miguel, but oh. I'm in San Salvador. Oh, okay, right. You're like this, okay. Oops, I'm not going wait, to Wait, wait. <laughs> okay. with the situation. All right. From, 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 everybody says from, hi, Michael. Very good. San Michael. <laughs> with respect, with, with, with respect, with. okay, very good. Okay, Ms. Campos, can you see the next question? Number two. The next question Why do you that you usually really eat in number two? It's okay. Yes. Number two. Yes. Do you do you usually buy things that you don't really need? Give, give, yes, I always buy something that I I can or I okay or um a toothbrush. And you leave that place with a big bar full of items that you even don't need it. Uh, like toys or uh, some stuff for that the you, children. toys or uh, something, some stuff that you don't know what to do with them. Maybe uh, two, two or three pillows or brooms. Oh. <laughs> it's pretty funny. Yes. I like the, uh, how do you say, enceres for my house, enceres. Maybe so, some stuff for, for you. Thing, oh. thing for my, my cooking. Yeah, spoons, forkets, some dishes, cups. There are a ton of things you can buy in that place. But I, I, I know I know people who visit that place just to get new friends. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> number three. And number three, okay. Can you Can think? You... Okay, go on. Okay. Go on. Can you think of something that you that you love to buy? What would you like to buy? Okay, well, <clears throat> just <clears throat> I'm looking forward to buy mm, these days uh, a buy um, motorcycle, and I always have wished to ride a bike, uh, and that's what I really love. Can hear you. Uh, buy for me or buy for my boyfriend or my friend. I guess <clears throat> something that you love to you will love to buy. Okay, motorcycles. You don't think motorcycles are dangerous? No, but <clears throat> all my friends does it and. Uh, I think this is my turn. Okay. All right. <laughs> I'm getting old. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. What about you, Haiti? Okay. What would you oh. love to what would you love to buy? What do you think you need for feel full in your life? <clears throat> okay. Something to buy, Heidi? Um, I love buy um, chocolates. Chocolate. Where people eat unusual food, can you think of such a country? Well, 
No. My answer is no. And I, I never think in, in, when I think in a country, I'm not sure about the food in there. So, well, my, my, from my side, no. Answer is no. Okay. But if they go another country, you have to taste their food. Like in Mexico, they eat cricket. I don't know, it's, it's something unusual, but you have, you have to taste it, I think. It's not so unusual, I think. Okay. I don't know. Okay, so the next question is cricket. You don't, have, you don't fight cricket in here, do you? Um, sorry, I can't hear you well. You can you repeat, please, the question or your opinion. We are running now. Navarro. Hello. We can barely hear you. Yeah, I can hear very well. I can Okay. Yes, so, I can hear you. Okay, all right. Can't hear you. Okay, good. So go to the next question, okay? Okay, the next question is, how do you feel about people who talk too much? Why? Well, actually, I really talk too much. I'm one of those people. So, um, I think that is because I don't like the quiet. So that's why I, I talk too much and all these other people also talk too much. Okay. Who's next? So I think Eduardo. Eduardo is going to read the next one. Okay. Ah, uh, okay. So, uh, hello? Do you have the question? Yes, uh, no, yes. All right. Okay. Uh, I feel that do you, do you buy furniture which isn't new? Why or why not? Um, I I try to to speak some some Mandarin, but it's very 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 difficult. Ni hao ma. It's different. Ni hao ma. She she. Uh, yes, and and I learned one thing, chap sui. Okay. <laughs> chao right. chao ming. <laughs> okay. All right. Mike, do you know any Chinese? You speak Chinese, Mike? Anything? Any Chinese vocabulary? Jackie Chan. Jackie Chan. Chan. Okay. Love Jackie Chan. Ma Maru Chan. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good. What question are you guys on? The next. The sixth question. Okay. Sixth question. Okay, give it about three more minutes. All right, good. We'll, we'll like to visit a country where I would like to have some uh, kind of that thing. Well, what thing is, what thing, I'm sorry, so what thing is that, Ms. Palacios? Uh, you gotta I, specify I what thing, because many, what thing can mean many things, right guys? Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We are talking about the, the question number eight okay. about furniture and I we are talking about antiques. Oh okay like antiques. Mm -hmm. Antiques. Antiques yeah. like uh -huh. or, or, or old fashioned very good antiques or old fashioned old styles very good or uh, even classical. Mm -hmm. I have a question uh, how do you say the segunda mano in English? Second hand. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's right. It's good. <laughs> yes. This you can also say depends on some things. Like if it's uh, appliances, we say refurbished. But if you were referring to use things in general clothes, secondhand clothes, very good. Okay. Mm -hmm. And we can say used to use things, uses. 
uh, used, used, used things. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, used things. Yeah, it's a, I have a, I have a phone. Uh, yes, really? It's a new? No, it's already, it's already used. But usually we, when we emphasize that it's, you know, not brand new out of the pocket, we say, oh, it's secondhand or refurbished or yes, it's, it's been, because when we say it's been used, we just uh, like, uh -huh. okay. but yes, good, good, Ms. All right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, next question. Do you think that bilingual dictionaries are useful? Explain. Mm -hmm. Mr. Franco. Mr. Franco. But in this day, yes. you know it's very dangerous to visit a place because the, yes. the coronavirus uh, born there originated mm -hmm. originated very good originated yes originated okay yes. originated good okay next one how do you feel about people who talk too much and why good question um i like the people that talk too much because uh, I don't know how to say bitch or from my grandparents. As the proverb says, or as the saying goes? But, but they say that between a lot of words, always, always, there, there are a Okay. And that uh, that's my opinion. Okay. In my in my opinion, I, I don't have a problem with with the people who talk too much. How do you deal Julia? with Julia? If you're you're indifferent, so if they talk, is their their problem? How do you? Well, my said is true. I agree with my, but you know, yeah, we just have to be obviously respectful, uh, you know. But obviously, yes, as Mr. Julio says, yes, it depends, right? There's some sometimes people who tend to talk too much can be annoying, but it depends if they're talking about the same or negativity all the time, right? Mm. Yeah, but we respect that. All right, all right guys, two yeah. more minutes, okay? Good. Well, what question are you on? Okay. All right. Good. Julia, more time of your uh, every day. Yeah. Yeah, very very busy. And right now, are you? Are, are, sorry. No, no, I think that the traffic no help just because uh, I I try to do many activities, but. Uh, go to or move to to different place for the traffic is terrible and, uh, and consume consume uh, our, our time okay and for me it's like well now i am i'm doing home office so right now i think my work is through all my time because even though I when I was in the office I left like by 5 p.m. now they're sending me emails until 7 p.m. or I have to stay working and then my whole day is over. And when I see it it's now now it's 9 p.m. and I have to <laughs> uh, yeah I'm I'm doing some home office too and after this class i need to finish some other stuff too yeah um because of this and you are in your house you have um a little more time your boss say something like that so you have a chance to finish some other stuff <laughs> and and that's the 
every every single day monday to friday and sometimes weekends yeah if you don't feel the time in orgy you feel like sunday is monday and then monday and then monday and then yeah yeah monday and the same some, sometimes i forgot what day is today is like today is what friday no it's monday what so yeah. what about the weekend uh, oh man it's, it's a lot of things to do and, and like eduardo say he's more busy because he's studying <laughs> so yeah yeah you have a little time to sleep i think yes that's when you when that happens you you, you lose notion yeah. of the time notion i lose notion of the time that's right good, good. Notion. Mm -hmm. I lose notion. The notion of the time. I don't, you know, I can't. When? No. When is the day? Exactly. Uh -huh. yeah. Time flies, right? Time flies. Okay, guys, we'll be almost finished. We already. Ah, oh, perfect. Okay, guys, good. Thank you. Okay. Do you think that bilingual dictionaries are useful? Explain. Do you think that bilingual dictionaries are useful? Explain. Okay. Do you think that you can get something from a dictionary? Useful. This Why? Useful. Explain it. Useful. Tell me why is useful a dictionary what do you think okay. maybe you find the, the meaning of some word that you don't know or maybe you knew you, know, you improve your vocabulary or maybe you learn new words that you don't even know that it is exist what is your opinion christopher what do you think um, I think that it's useful because when I was a kid, you know, I was bored. I always read like, dictionaries and learn new words that okay. I was looking in on in the books. Okay. Good. All right, guys. So we're finished, right? Almost. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Gotcha. Number Manuel, Christopher, tell me, Christopher, hurry up, guys. You got forty seconds, thirty seconds, thirty five. Countdown, the final countdown. Hello, Erica. Moving the camera. Okay. Okay, we're almost finished, guys. How are you doing? You, you, did you have time to practice? Yeah. All right, all right. Good. So we're finishing in 10, the final countdown, okay? We're going to continue with the, with the topic. Good job, guys. Who sings that song? That's called, that's a rock band that's called, um, I have it on Final the tip. I have it on the, countdown. I have it on the tip of my tongue, but I can't recall it. Good evening, guys. Okay, welcome back. All right. Very good. So let's continue. Okay, so I hope you learned something. I heard some, a lot of you talking. We talked about the unusual food, friends. Some of you talked about you know, poor Chinese, right? We always talk about unusual food, but they, are, they eat unusual food in other countries. Do you know in Colombia, they eat, uh, they eat a lot of insects, like fried roaches uh, and, and all those type of insects, you know. So uh, support is, uh, supposedly they have uh, some sort of minerals that are good, okay? All right, guys, so let's continue with the topic, okay? So I'm gonna share my screen so we can uh, discuss some qu uh, questions and topics related to, okay, to what we've been seeing. 
for internet issues today only because I'm doing a little bit of adjusting on my PC. I'm not gonna show you the video, but I'm gonna actually show you the topic of the video, okay? All right. Okay. Yes. Give me, let me show, okay. Any, anybody want, all right. Anybody want to share something that interesting, uh, interesting fact that they learned? Okay, we'll have time then. Okay, that's what you practice was relative pronouns. Okay, so I'm just going to show you the can't play the video because it actually is it's going to take probably freeze up. So what are relative pronouns? Okay, so let's see. Uh, Erica, can you read the first example? Since I was going to read it, but I don't want you to think anything, especially at the beginning. Okay, I like. I like guys. They are in two series. Okay, so here we have, <laughs> yes, now you know why you, I didn't want to read that, right? All right, right. Mm -hmm. okay. <laughs> so we have two sentences, two clauses, two subjects, okay? I like guys, okay? So we have the subject, the verb, and the complement, that period. And then on the second one, we have they are in two series. So we have two in the two sentences that can stand out because they have a subject, very good. They have a verb and they have a complement. But instead of saying, saying it like that, I like guys, they aren't too serious. We can unite them with relative pronouns. What are the relative pronouns? Who, that, which, when, depends on what you're saying. So in this case, Erica, how can we unite that sentence into one? Can you read the complement? I like guys who or that aren't too serious. Very good, okay. Serious. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, it, would that be true for you, Erica? Uh, what kind of guys or, you know, not guys, but people in general do you like? Mm -hmm. you. That aren't too serious. <laughs> okay, so that would be true for you, right? Okay, mm -hmm. very good. That would be true for you, right? Okay, good one, okay. Adriana, uh, next example, please, the second one. Mm. And I like guys or the, the next? The next, the, the, I like guys, but the second one. Okay. Mm -hmm. I like guys that they have a good sense of humor. Okay. So again, we're going to unite the sentences with who that. Can you read the now using a relative pronoun? Yes. I like guys who or that have a good sense, sense of humor. Very good. Mm hmm Sense of humor, right? What would be the opposite of someone who doesn't have a sense of humor? What is the opposite? Uh, any person? Serious. Serious. Maybe not so so much angry, but serious. Uh, okay. Uh, for example, yes, yeah, serious or yes, or a little bit rigid, right? You make him a joke, he's like, okay, yes. Or angry. <laughs> All right, very good, okay. Good one. All right. Now let's do these are some subjects, right? Because they are in the middle. Okay. Who that? Okay. Now we also have relative pronouns that act as objects. Okay. Very good. Uh, who can read? Mike, can you read the next one? I prefer yeah. someone. I prefer someone. I can talk to him easily. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, and how? The next uh-huh using the, the, the correct relative pronouns, um, yes i prefer i prefer someone who or that i can talk to easily very good who i can talk to easily okay it's just a small but, change uh, too easily is incorrect mm, no it's okay and the too thing is that it's saying is as yeah. Let me let me scroll up to see it exactly. Yeah, I can. I prefer according, someone. According to the grammar, it's not correct. Yeah, you can. I can it, talk it, too it's easily. The same idea. It's correct. That I is correct. There is an adverb. Yeah, Mike. Do you see that? I prefer someone. I prefer. I prefer someone. Who or that? I can. So I that's. Too. Two. We have we have to remember that when you use talk, 
the next word is to. Let's talk to easily. Yeah, that's the, the rule of the infinitives. That's correct. Okay. In this okay. case, uh huh. Talk to easily. Yes. Uh, maybe not the other two yet because it will change the meaning. But we're going to get into that anyway. We have a practice after this. Very good. Okay. Okay. Thank you for that. Thank you, though. It's always good to clarify that. It's very good. Okay. All right. Uh, also, the, also the next one, Mike. Uh, the same one. Next one. I prefer someone. Okay. I prefer someone. I have fun with him. Uh, using the relative pronoun, I prefer someone who or that I have fun with. I have fun with. Very good. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good. So uh, this is just kind of, we're going to get into the grammar, but I just want to give you a little bit of practice. We're going to do that with who or that. Okay. I can give you an example. Very good. Uh, in any, in any, in any event. So, but let's do the practice. Okay. So this is what we're going to do in the next exercise. Okay. Okay, well, so in this case, guys, we have the instructions and we have about seven sentences in each one. The instructions is to select the best clause that matches the statement, okay? Some of, it, some, of this, some of them that actually might not be quite clear, but the idea is for you to actually sh start thinking. So in the first one, okay, for example, uh, who can help me read, okay? Uh, Mr. Jose, Mr. Mr. Faro, the first one. Number one. The first one say, I don't want to have a partner. I don't want to have a partner, okay? First, we have to define partner, classmate partner, partner, like, you know, your significant other, or just partner, right? But, okay? Partner. So, partner, that's right. I don't want to have a partner. So which of these clauses best matches that sentence, okay? I don't, I'm sorry, let me see. I don't want to have a partner. So you're supposed to select the option, okay? Which one would you choose? Mr. Alfaro, can you read the options and can you tell us which one you would choose? Uh, do I have to read all of the options? Uh, you can just read them well, to, in, that, in this case, just for you guys to get the feeling of it. But if you already know the answer, you can tell us which one do you think is the right option. Uh, I have nothing in common with this person. I don't feel comfortable around these people. Okay. I don't want to have a partner, okay? Some of you say, uh, I don't feel comfortable around these people. I don't know, Mr. Alfaro, is your call. Don't worry about it. If wrong or right, we're going to check at the end. Yeah, no, but I think that it's... I have nothing in common with this person. Okay. I have nothing in common with this person. That's correct. Okay. Very good. We're going to check. Uh, I have good. nothing in common with, with this okay. person. Very good. I have that I have good. nothing in common with. Exactly. Uh -huh. I don't, yes, if we use a relative clause, that would be correct. I don't have to have, I don't, I don't want to have a partner. That I don't have nothing in common with. Very good. That would be correct. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Haiti, number two. I would like, Haiti. Haiti. Okay. I like to meet people. So what do you think is the best, uh, the most closest or best match of that statement? I would like to meet people. Yeah. Uh, these people this have a good person. sense of humor. Yeah. Yeah. These people have a good sense. I agree sense of with humor. Manuel. Which is? These people have a good sense of humor. The okay. humor, that's correct. All right. These people have good sense of humor. Why, wow, Haiti, you had help. Very good. No problem. All right. Let's see. <laughs> good job. All right. All right. Let's do it together. Then it's better. Like they say, you know what the saying said? Two heads think better than? Then one, right? Very good. Okay. All right. The next one. I prefer a roommate. I prefer a roommate. Okay. All right. What are the options? Okay. 
This person has good leadership qualities. These people have a good sense of humor. I have nothing in common with this person. This person is quiet and considerate. The last, this Maybe. person is quiet. Yeah, the, last. the last one. 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 This person is quiet and considerate. Mr. Yeah, Quaros, you agree? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. All right. Yes. We're almost finished, Mr. Cuevas. It's been a long day, right? Stretching. Tomorrow I'm going to have, we're going to do a stretching exercise. I know in Zoom, is, you, you can you actually do, yeah, we can actually do stretching exercise. Very good. Number four, I don't like to be with people. What would be the best, uh, most considered, best answer? I don't feel com comfortable. I don't feel comfortable. I don't feel comfortable with the people around. around. Yeah, definitely. Okay, yes, uh, yeah. that's four syllables. Com comfortable. 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 Or, as very good, comfortable. Or as British people would say, you know how the British pretty, British people pronounce certain words? Have you heard British accents? Comfortable. Are you very comfortable? Very comfortable. Oh, but, but Americans that's, say it's new. Yeah, it is. But Americans say comfortable. Are you comfortable? comfortable. Are you In comfortable? British pronunciation, right? comfortable. Yeah, that's comfortable. Nice. Well, yeah, it's comfortable. Very comfortable. Very good. They have the accent. <laughs> very good. I like to be. So I, I don't like to be with people. I don't feel very good. Let's let's. Do, we have three more minutes or five more minutes, guys. Right. I want to discuss my problems with my friends. I want to discuss my problems with my friends. These people are warm and sensitive. Yeah. These people are warm and sensitive. I like to discuss my problems with my friends. So how many say, uh, very good, how many say These warm and sensitive? These people are warm and sensitive. Sensitive. These very people good. are warm and sensitive. These people are warm and sensitive. Okay, very good. These people are warm and sensitive. Number six, I'd rather have a boss. <laughs> okay, he wants this to have a boss. Uh, this person has a good leadership quality. quality. Yes. Yes, that's good. Leadership person, person has okay. good leadership qualities. Teacher, leave those kids alone. I prefer to have teachers. These people are organized and organized, intelligent, organized. Thank you. Thank you. You know, it's it's it's, it's difficult. All right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, let's see how you do it. People are organized and intelligent. Let's see. Let's see. Let's submit your answers. Okay. And a round of applause. Very good. Mm -hmm. All right. Good job, guys. Thumbs up. Okay. Very good. 15 out of 15. Okay. All right. Now, rewriting the relative pronouns. I heard somebody at the very, the very beginning say the first one. We can use that. I don't want to have a partner. Very good. Okay, so how can we unite that sentence with a relative pronoun with the next, with the next, with the next clause, with the next statement? I don't, I don't want to have a partner. What can we use? Who, that, which? What can we say? Here? I don't want to have a partner. I have nothing in common with this person. I don't want to have a partner. Who? Which who there? Who I don't have nothing in common with. Very good. Who I, who I have nothing in common with. Okay. Okay. So this is what I want you to do, guys. This will be your first homework. Uh, I w I'm going to send the screenshot of this template. And I want you to write sentences for united them using a relative clause okay let's do these two as an examples for tomorrow okay so who wants to do this first one uh i would like to meet people these people have good sense of humor uh volunteer who can make unite one sentence i'd like me okay who's me i'd like to, i'd like to meet people who have good sense of humor, humor. Very good. Easy. Sure. Very good. I would like to meet people. 
who have a good sense of humor. Very good. Okay. Erica, can you do the example number two? Okay. I don't like to be with people who I have nothing in common with this person. Mm -hmm. Okay, can we, how can we unite the sentence using a relative pronoun? I don't like to be with people. Who? Who? Who I have nothing in common. Very good. And here we have to add a preposition at the end. Instead of saying person, what preposition can I use at the end? I don't like to be with people. With. Perfect. With. Very good. I don't like to be with people who I have nothing in common with. Very good. And we omit this person. Okay. Yeah. Good job. Very good. Okay. One more, Mr. Cuevas. One more. I know you're tired. It's going to be long done. They were almost out. Number three. I prefer a roommate. This person is quite inconsiderate. Mm -hmm. I prefer a roommate who is quiet and considerate. Very good. Roommate, yes. I prefer a roommate who is quiet and considerate. Very good. Mm -hmm. Who? Can we also use that? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yes, we yeah. can. Yes. Yes, we can. Okay. So let's see. Uh, we have the idea for you to, to finish doing the rest. Okay. So uh, number three, I prefer roommate. I will send a screenshot of this so you can actually do it. This is just for you guys to practice as tomorrow we're gonna to go into uh, more in advance, okay? So number uh, four, I don't like to be with people. I want to discuss my problems with my friends and I would rather have a boss and number seven. Very good, okay guys. So just to make sure, uh, whoever wasn't on the group that we added, uh, was the, somebody sent the invitation so we can everybody can be in, in the group for the homework assignment, right? Thank you very much. Yes? Yes, thank you. Yes. Perfect, okay, guys, okay. Perfect, guys, okay. So what did we learn? Let's make a quick wrap up. What did we see today? What did we talk about? First, we introduced the topic talking about what kind of, without looking in your book, what kind of questions or what were the questions we discussed at the very beginning, okay? Okay. Two questions that we discussed at the beginning without looking in your notes or what that you discussed. Talk about country that what that has that has unusual unusual food. Food, okay. What was another question that we discussed at the you, beginning? Do you buy new furniture or, or not? Very good. That's right. Okay. Good guys, we're almost finished. And Mr. Franco, I haven't heard Mr. Franco all, all night. I just want to make sure, Mr. Franco, if you're here. Mr. Franco? Hey, good. All right, I haven't heard you. Very good. Okay, just making sure. Very good. Okay. No, no, just making sure. Okay, what did we learn today? What did we what did we what did we see today, Franco? What did we study? What was the topic that we studied? Relative. Sorry, sorry, um, I, I don't understand. The question, what was the topic? Just to summarize, just to recap, what did we see today? What was the topic? Relative? Relative pronouns. Very good. Okay. Which are, who, that, which. Okay, and Mr. Franco, give me a sentence. For example, give me a, give me a definition, okay? A, the, give me a definition of a lion. A lion is an animal. I like it's an animal. The, um, the, I enjoy that. Enjoys catching supresa. It's prey. Very good. Okay. Prey. Very good. Somebody. Okay. It's unite and to finish. Unite that with the king of the jungle. Okay. Uh, we can say the lion. 
It's an animal which is considered what? The king of the jungle. The king, the king of, of the jungle. jungle. Very good. Which is considered. Very good. All right, guys. Good evening. So I will send you tomorrow uh, some, some material always to this group. Okay. Thank you guys for always being on time. And I hope you learned something today. And we'll continue tomorrow. Okay. Good evening. Bye. And sheshe. Sheshe. And bye-bye. Very good. Bye-bye. Thank good you, guys. Night, everyone. Good, good night. Bye. Very good. Okay. Bye, 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 Mike. Bye, everybody. Bye, Mike. Bye, Manuel. Bye, Adriana. Bye, everybody. Yep. Good job. Bye. All right. Bye-bye. See y'all.